What is the best comeback that works against all insults? Well, I guess what everyone says about you is true my dad told me to say this, and the typical bully type will generally go crazy thinking everyone talks about them behind their back. That sounds like something you would say. Damn people are right about you. Anytime my mom would get called names or insulted, she'd shrug and just say everybody's gotta be something. I always respond I've been called worse and continue with my day. If I'm feeling smug I'll add by better people. I like this one actually. I feel like it's the least argumentative comeback here. Deflecting people or responding with a witty thing can just rile them up. Source. Psycho family. As they take it the same way as being ignored. This one gives a sort of illusion that you accept what they've said and have already moved on from it. Like, I heard what you said, I've taken it in, and I let it go, before the bully really has a chance to process it themselves. I feel like there's still room for reconciliation after this response. It's important to remember the other person in these situations. Not because we should be empathetic towards their abusive choices, but because we should be empathetic towards their lead-up emotions. My five-year-old says mean things sometimes because he hasn't practiced patience and understanding enough. He's learned how to properly react, but he's not mature enough to utilize it properly every time he gets worked up. This is not unexpected of a five-year-old. A lot of people much older than five also are similarly emotionally immature. My husband didn't have much practice with patience before he met me. Ten years later and he's all mellowed out. I'm not perfect of course. But I am confident in my ability to stay cool in the face of craziness, which helps me remember to think of the other person. When my husband used to get irrationally upset about tiny things, and then redirect that upsetness at me, I always considered that he may literally never have had the chance to learn these things before meeting me. He was, emotionally, a five-year-old. I can't expect greatness until he's had the opportunity to learn how to be great in the first place. Although I don't put myself through abuse for the sake of another person's learning experience. If I ever feel unsafe or uncomfortable in an abusive situation, I just leave. That's with my five-year-old and my husband. I always tell my son, you've got a little body, but huge emotions, so sometimes they spill out a little bit. I don't want you to hurt me and regret it later. As soon as you're done letting those emotions out I'll come in and hug you, just yell for me. Then he screams into his pillow or destroys asterisk some Lego structures, and calls me in to comfort him when he doesn't feel like those emotions are spilling out as much. At the end of his anger outbursts he always cries in regret for having been angry in the first place. That vulnerability point is where we practice coping mechanisms for his anger. I saw similar emotions in my husband 10 years ago, albeit less obvious. Angry adults are, internally, little five-year-olds whose emotions are spilling over, and they're scared. Not an excuse, but a shining light onto the anger process in their brains. Not sure where this rant came from today but here it is haha, thank you for coming to my TED talk. He never permanently destroys anything nor harms himself during this, we've practiced together. Aussie here, you guys are overthinking this, let me help. Fuck off ya cunt. Once I saw I ate a post where a bride was jealous of a guest, because she was too beautiful and stole her day, even if she was perfectly elegant, and she was insulting her. The bride told her, so next time, can I come to your wedding in a wedding gown? The guest replied, if you think it'll help. And I found that epic. Pull my earbuds out with a confused expression and ask, what? I've done that before, it worked really well. Then if they repeat it, I just say yeah. No thanks and put in my earbud again. The fact that the response has no relation to what they just said, is dismissive and implies I didn't care enough to even listen properly, and it makes out like they just offered me something. It generally confuses them enough that they disengage. Bold words for a man in cum shot distance. You fucking Americans will use anything except the metric system. I bet that sounded a lot cooler in your head. Earnestly ask them if they are okay. TLDR. Being in the trades gets you some good practice in comebacks. I'm an electrical apprentice, and when I first started there was a bit of hazing and teasing from the journeyman. It never got too bad mostly a lot of talk. One in particular was kind on me one day, and since he was fairly young, just recently licensed. I just responded like did someone treat you like this when you were an apprentice? Do you have some unresolved issues? 
Do you need a hug? Oddly, he never really responded but I didn't have any trouble with him anymore. On the same job, the excavator accidentally broke our grounding grid, a big underground copper cable grid used to ground all the structures in the substation. So, I had to jump down, in the rain, into the hole to patch it up. It was wet and muddy but I was wearing a full rain suit. Another, older, journeyman who was my foreman and had worked for my father more than once made a sarcastic remark along the lines of we should take a picture, wouldn't your daddy be proud? I just looked up at him and said well, I'm doing my job, I'm doing it well, and I'm not bitching and complaining about it. Yeah, he likely would be proud. I also had another apprentice yell at me stop talking to me like I'm a fucking moron to which I responded stop talking to me like you're a fucking moron. I did kind of provoke him, but he was being really dense. I found out just asking, why? And putting them in a position to explain their insult which didn't have much thought behind it works well. I don't get why that's funny. Can you explain it to me? As soon as they start talking. I was just kidding. I don't actually care what you think. And? Basically takes all the wind out of their sails. They want to get a rise out of you and responding like this doesn't give them the satisfaction. Big fan of the pause for a beat, dead pan, and then some variation, combo of you done? Feel better now? Got that out of your system? Just that pause and little bit of patronizing tone while dismissing the childlike behavior usually does more to the ego than a counter insult. I'm a woman and my job basically boils down to arguing with attorneys who are mostly men with huge egos and a large helping of disdain for people they deem beneath them. It's common for them to get pushy, loud, and insulting when they're not getting their way. That was intimidating at first, but now I look forward to it because it gives me an opportunity to use my favorite line. It sounds like you're getting a little emotional about this. Do you want to call me back when you've calmed down so we can get this done? This is always met with a delicious pause, followed by them either hanging up or launching into the most high-pitched screeching you've ever heard. Being called emotional by a woman who is perfectly calm breaks something in them and it's my favorite thing. I hope you know I'm just going to masturbate to this later. Stop bullying me, you're gonna make me come. Well that's just, like, your opinion, man. 